Cross dressing is the act of wearing items of clothing not commonly associated with a particular gender. Through history, it has been used for the purposes of disguise, comfort, and self expression. In many societies, and for many reasons, the practice can be found in literature, theater, and music, such as kabuki and the Korean shamanism. As opposed to generalized misconception, it is not synonymous with being transgender. Most cross dressers are known to have started at a very tender stage using the clothes of a sibling, parent, or friends. Some parents have said they allowed their children to cross dress and the child stopped when they became older, but in most cases, the reverse is the case. Many women in history have had to disguise themselves as men for one reason or the other. For instance, as a female, Margaret King in the early 19th century cross-dressed to attend medical school because then female students were often rejected. A century after, Vita Sackville West dressed as a soldier in order to work with her girlfriend to avoid the harassment that two women would have faced. In recent times, cross-dressing is on the ascendancy. There are so many factors that make people to engage in cross-dressing. The desire for comfort is a preeminent reason. Some do it to stay in touch with trends, vogue or style. Others do it for a personal preference for clothing associated with the opposite sex. Many others adopt cross-dressing as an image-making stunt with the sole purpose of making money. Thus, there are also financial reasons that inspire cross-dressing besides being rebellious expression to break from the norm that may be considered monotonous and a drag. Some people cross-dress to challenge, protest or project a defiance of entrenched social norms while others do it for gender disguise. The disguise is not limited to a particular gender, as girls do it to pass as male and boys to pass as female. Most male cross-dressers do it for entertainment. For instance, drag performers dress up in dramatic costumes to perform on stage, in ballrooms, nightclubs or on TV. A male who puts up female clothes for entertainment can be called a drag queen. They are characterized by excessive makeup and fashion that essentially mock the idea of hyperfeminity. Even as cross-dressing increases as a vogue, it does not enjoy a welcome in religious circles where it is strongly condemned as an aberration and immoral. The practice is equally frowned at in many regions around the world, especially Africa and Asia. For instance, in 2010, a group of young Muslim men were publicly flogged after they were convicted of wearing women's clothing and makeup in Sudan. In 2009, the Saudi Arabian government arrested 67 men attending a private party for cross-dressing and behaving like women. In Hinduism, cross-dressing is considered abnormal. Individuals who practice or who cross-dress are scorned and treated with no respect. In many other cultures, even in casual settings, women are still prohibited from wearing traditionally male clothing and same applies to the men. Though the practice is widely condemned, it is currently becoming trendy across the globe. In comedy, as an entertainment genre, there is an ongoing cross-dressing culture. Many Nigerian Instagram comedians rely on cross-dressing to create humor and attract a fan base. The Nigerian social media space has been flooded with images of young men dressing and acting like women. Bob Risky, 
originally known as Idris Okuneye, is one popular name in Nigeria's new generation of cross-dressers. The former student of King's College, famed for his racy photos, heavy makeup and shouting choice of fashion item, has over 200,000 followers on Snapchat and Instagram. According to Google's communications and public affairs manager, Anglophone West Africa, Taiwo Kola Ogunladi, in October and November 2016, he was the most searched Nigerian on Google. Denre Le Edu is another popular name in this category. In Kenya, Kevin Mwangi, popularly known as Shanikwa, is a publicly visible cross-dresser who disguises himself as a lady and has attracted a mix of appreciation and stuff in equal measures for his feminine signature style. Peter Nyongo Jr. is another Kenyan cross-dresser. He is a musician who also doubles as a model. His dressing style has prompted questions over his sexuality. OK Gold, a Nigerian Ghanaian, is another top cross-dresser in Africa. He has worn several beauty pageants in Ghana, including an all-female beauty pageant. The crown was later taken away from him after the organizers found out he lied about his gender. He was actually a man. There are others who have emerged on the scene in more recent times by leveraging on the power of technology to project their cross-dressing preferences. Cross-dressers are, however, often stereotyped as gay. The nature and dimensions of cross-dressing in Nigeria, though a mountain trend, is not synonymous with being transgender as the situation in Western countries. The practice remains a matter of choice in an era of increasing expression of civil liberties and right to choice. Wearing female dresses does not make a man less masculine, nor a woman less feminine when she wears a man's outfit. Bottom line is, head or tail, human nature prevails, no matter the scope or twist of a trend. Cross-dressing can't be any different.